Hey traders, TG Watkins here. It is uh, August 24th, Thursday when I'm recording this. I hope you guys are doing well out there. And the market is still kind of trying to figure itself out. Let's kind of take a look at something real quick in through here. Uh, so last Friday, about a week ago, we got the capitulation. So this is what is the first kind of sign of a low or a bounce that I could uh, easily spot and pinpoint and say, look, this is what that was. Uh, that was a capitulation move. We opened with a gap down and then we reversed. Um, this was the bounce that I had been looking for for the last basically three weeks, uh, which we never got until now. So we finally do have the bounce. But remember, and I've been describing this to my subscribers very clearly, this is only a bounce. And, uh, you know, we are still we still have conflicting moving average directions. We still have the moxie indicator below zero. So, uh, you know, this has been what, like three or four days that the market's been going up fine. Uh, but at some point, it's going to be running into resistance and it's going to roll back over. Now, the question is, is it going to find support or is it going to find um, a lack of support and just continue to move down? We're not still, we're not sure. We have to go one step at a time. But so far, we've kind of completed the first step. And now we're looking for number step two and number three and see where that kind of goes. One other thing to be looking at, let me come over here and show you guys this. These, uh, this is the internals. It's got my cursor working. And you can see we definitely had... Uh, really, really great stuff. I mean, great stuff leading up uh, into the top of this market. It was uh, basically two months from um, basically the end of May to the end of July. Uh, really, really solid stuff. Uh, lots of things to choose from. And then it all changed and shifted. And you could see new highs just kind of fell off a cliff. And the unfortunate thing is new lows really started to pick up. So, you know, what we like to see in a, in a really good strong market, a lot of times this number will not really tick up too much because a pullback or something like that, yes, you'll get a lack of new highs, but you'll also get a lack of new lows because, well, they're, they're, we're in uptrends basically and, and a pullback doesn't like make new lows. So that is one something I'm aware of and just uh, slightly concerning. Uh, we'll say I have to see how that kind of works out for the market. Um, the other thing that I do see as a as a potentially good sign is that the internals have at least cycled back down, and this is something that we've been looking for. And I kind of talked about this uh, earlier yesterday, and you can see at least the number of stocks over their 20-day SMA have gone down to levels that do tend to mark bottoms or lows, and then we'll have to see if this kind of the market can shake itself out and do that. And we can also see, see that at least the number of stocks over their 50-day and 200-day have also cycled back down. So um, you know, it's it's at least looking at this, it's not terrible. We know that the market pulled back very drastically. And at this point, we're just trying to see, is this enough? And the market can kind of hammer out a bottom and move up, or is there going to be more damage? And we, as I said, we saw the first bounce. Now we kind of need to let it come back down and, and prove itself. And so we just kind of need to be patient in through here. We had a really solid two, almost three months. And uh, at that point, the market just took a huge sprint and it needs to take a rest. I think that's what we're experiencing right now. So just kind of be patient with the market. We'll see if things kind of shape up and then we can go from there. All right. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon. Hey, TG here with Simpler Trading. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like or comment below. Also, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my market analysis. Or you can join my free newsletter with the link in the description. Good trading and I'll see you at the next video.